From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Machine tool and measuring equipment supplier RGC Engineering opened its new facility, which includes a metrology and training center in Johannesburg on June 12. RGC's new facility includes Metrology 1 and Metrology 2 showrooms that will be used as an in-house training center. Sabrina Jardim tells us more. Speaking at the launch of the new facility, RGC CEO Aurelio Gretsch Cambo told Engineering News that through the introduction of a world-class facility, the company aims to support the South African industry with a complete turnkey solution for measuring requirements. He explained that the South African machine tool and measuring industry is facing challenges of a lack of investor confidence, owing to issues such as the cost of investment being high, a lack of energy security, and a lack of scarce skills in the manufacturing sector. Hence, he said, to establish recognition in the global market, it is necessary to increase and improve availability of local scarce skills to attract investment in the manufacturing sector, which will lead to increased employment numbers. To this end, RGC, in partnership with the companies it represents, including Zeiss and Marpos, aims to help fill the skills gap in the local metrology sector. It is always an ambition of ours to bring to South Africa a world-class facility that will support the industry with a complete turnkey solution for their measuring requirements. And probably the, the ultimate uh, goal will be to create a training facility where we can train people from industry to be able to use measuring equipment and understand measurement properly and where they have a grounding uh, which is of substance and recognized in the industry. And with the support of Peter Toyo, who has established I think over 30 metrology institutes worldwide, that is our target, is to establish one of these metrology institutes in South Africa. And it's a, it's a rare skill, it's a skill that's not taught uh, extensively in the universities or the technical colleges or the universities of technology. And so we, we've endeavoured to bring that capacity to South Africa inside of RGC in partnership with the companies that we represent in dimensional metrology, uh, Marpas, Mitutoyo and Zeisgom. As a partner and supplier to RGC, Metrology Equipment Supplier, Mitutoyo UK MD Ray Penny, echoed the sentiment, expressing the importance of educating the next generation of engineers in South Africa. RGC and, and Mitutoyo's relationship goes back uh, many years. Um, we've uh, provided um, our equipment directly from Japan uh, and also from our headquarters in, in Mitutoyo Europe as well. Um, and we, we supply a full range of Mitutoyo equipment to support RGC uh, in supplying metrology equipment to the market here in South Africa. And as we look to expand the business in this region, in this part of the world, we need, we need the enhanced facilities and equipment to be able to support that um, with a view to offer new technologies uh, to the manufacturing sector uh, here in, in South Africa. While the Production Technologies Association of South Africa trains students in precision machining and toolmaking, Gretsch Cambo noted that the PTSA training does not include the process of checking production. We would like to see a thousand students a year coming out of the program. So that means a thousand in every year and a thousand out every year. That would be a good target. And those same students at PTSA will also come here for doing the quality control and dimensional inspection course. So I think that's, that's really the expectation that we have. And we will also support the universities, universities of technology, technical colleges, if they want to have their students trained specifically in dimensional inspection and quality control and metrology, we are here to do that. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.